So I'm not going to be exploring and doing stuff yet. Man, she looks cool. Nice hair. I love the color of her clothes. Anyway, I'm not going to be exploring right now. Because I do want to get level 40. So, main quest. The way around. Vending machine. Wait, what do you mean the way around? Huh. Okay, so not everyone is a fox girl here. Looks good. There are trash cans here or something similar. I hope there is. I'm not going to explore. I'm not going to explore. Oh, that looks cool. Save point. Yeah, let's go just this way. If I can. Can I even go here? No. Okay. Eighteen. Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Sorry. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Yes, madam. Oh, I like that hair. I love that color of hair. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. The voice. Can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. I like her voice. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person. Okay, so she is a fox girl too. I was wondering if that thing behind her was a tail or or cloth, but it's a tail. Uh, I lo I like how she looks. She looks pretty cool. I love the green hair. I love that shade of green hair. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Her voice is nice. And politely decline your proposal. Oh, that, that wasn't a proposal, lady. Um, we're here to destroy the stellar, or not destroy, seal it, or whatever. But why? The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is, and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. Mm. We have been around for over 8,000 years, and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion.
You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I love world. Just straight to the point. No, no BS. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Xianzhou Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Ah, uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. Oh, if shut the up. the Xianzhou Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. Please, Mar please March. Don't... Don't say anything. I'm afraid that's impossible. Oh? Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate. Uh, before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. There we go. That was Silver Wolf. For Himiko. Or maybe it was Himiko him herself, but probably Silver Wolf. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Uh, her name is Silver Wolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. How? She even taunted her them with her seal like why she knew she knew that that wouldn't help us what say you in your defense i don't know uh i don't think that's the case it could be but I don't think that's the case. I'm gonna leave it to Weld. Weld knows best what to say. Please don't say anything, March. Please. No. No. You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. Weld, you're not gonna say anything? Don't be too harsh, you Kong. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. General Jing Yuan. Oh, that's the guy from the next banner. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Okay, so he, this guy knows stuff. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. Okay. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lofu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. Uh oh. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. I don't like this. Is it gonna be something bad? Ah, <sighs> the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. Yeah. How delightful to come face to face with its passenger. He's looking for Dan, and he knows, or at least he heavily suspects that Dan is with the Astro Express. So he's gonna ask her to turn Dan over. Otherwise, we won't be able to leave. Hmm. 
It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago, who goes by the name of Blade. Okay. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka. Okay. Who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined... The Express. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. No. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. I mean, we could tell them the truth, right? That they did contact us and inform us that there was a... Oh, she wanted something more, though. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron hunters to yes. sow dissent between us. Yes, that's very generous of you to assume that. Or maybe they have another other motives. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. It is this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, Oops. the bigger the threat she will pose. Okay, so she's still there. Or here, I'm not sure. Is it the same ship you're talking about? Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. I think it is. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu. With the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. I mean, I knew they were in, at least on the same fleet, but I didn't know if it was exactly the same ship. But apparently it is. So she's in this city. Slash ship. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us. Reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters. And help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you, my astral guests? Well... Maybe? Sure? Seems like you're still taking us hostage and forcing us to do something for you. I don't like that, but at the same time, I don't like Kafka, Kafka either. A lot of people died because of her. Hmm. What do you think? Um. Yeah, let's help out. If you are able to capture this Stellaron Hunter, the Sien Zhou will be indebted to you. Good. The Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Nice. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. Okay. Uh, I wonder why March 7th wasn't here. I'm not complaining. Uh, Dendro Net. Oh god. I don't think so. That looks distracting and not pleasant. Actually blue. Alright. Um I think we only scratched the surface of this general Jing Yuan. Yeah. I don't trust him. That doesn't mean I I don't wanna 
catch Kafka. No. Care to elaborate? Do I have to? He wants us to trust him. He took advantage of Yu Kong's frosty reception to play the good guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. I mean, we didn't ask, to be honest. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Huh? Why rely on us? Because he's not being... Uh, what's the word? Cooperational? Helpful? He doesn't want to help them? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the part that the guy clearly doesn't trust us, and yet he gave us this mission. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, he obviously has second motives, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want us to catch Kafka. He's using us as bait. Yeah, he is. Yes. The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us. I'm not sure about that. Provided they even captured him in the first place. Yeah, that's a good question too. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. Um... I don't know about that. That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. I mean, I'm happy to be bait. If it, if it means that I get to bring Kafka to justice. This Jing Yuan, how much does he know and how much is he hiding from us? A lot. A lot. A lot of bad. Hey, Yukon. Seeing as the General gave the order, the Skyfaring Commission will lend you our full support. The Stellaron Hunter investigation is in your hands now. I'll issue you a pass so you can access the facilities around Starskiff Haven. Right. As for personnel, the Skyports are currently all under maintenance, so we're thinly stretched. What I can do is send Ting Yun as your guide. Yes. She'll take care of you during your stay. She will. Okay. Can I talk to Welt again? This Jing Yuan. Okay. What about you? Seeing as the general gave the order, yeah, as same the personnel. Thing. Same thing. So. I've heard of you. Have you? The Alliance is very interested in the Astral Express. Bob Blade. Blade is wanted by both the Corporation and the Alliance. I'm afraid I cannot comment on his file. Hmm. About Kafka. There are five known members of the Stellaron Hunters. Elio is their leader, but always stays behind the scenes. Most of the operations are led by Kafka. So there's Elio, Kafka, Silverwolf, Blade, and someone else. Had the Divination Commission not intercepted her encrypted transmission, she would have remained undetected for much longer. I mean... Why would Silver Wolf give them? Why would she taunt them? Why would she let them know that she was doing the hacking? Yeah, I think we're being played by everyone here. Everyone's trying to play us for something, and I don't know what. I basically basically don't know anyone's motives here. Bring her to us. Hmm. 
Ordinary means may prove futile when it comes to this individual. But the Divination Commission has ways of... <laughs> I see. Don't misunderstand me. The Sienjo does not engage in torture. Achieving intel does not necessarily involve the use of violence. Torture does not necessarily involve the use of violence. There's a lot of awful torture that that's not violence. In any case, you can deliver her directly to us. Once we learn something, I will share every piece of information with you. I'm sure you will. If things go as planned, I would love to find the time to sit with all of you and hear about your experiences among the stars. My responsibilities to this, we had heard nothing of the Express for a long time. It is heartening to... I have other mm -hmm. matters to attend to. Goodbye for now. All oh, sweet talk. March 7th. What do you make of this, Qing Yuan? Suspicious. You think everyone's suspicious. Though You're not we wrong. do say some girls have a sixth sense. He's much easier to talk to than that Yukong. Their attitudes are so different. Maybe that's why she's only a helm master and he's a general. Okay, so I'm Yo assuming... Plow 6 is overloaded. Please have people evacuated to other docks ASAP. Over. I'm assuming I can come back here later. So I'm gonna... I'm not gonna explore or talk to anyone else. But I will do that later. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That's a new character. She's that young. won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? Oh. <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Okay, so they Wait, don't. What are you up to exactly? <gasps> Xin Yuan, did you. Let him escape on purpose? Right, so Wang was right. <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. That's a lie. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. Okay. There's a lot to take care of on the Xinjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. I'm not sure she believes it. On that note... Perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fu Shen. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. So he's even lying to General, her. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable. But her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word and I'll solve this in a flash. I hate that voice. I can understand your impatience. And I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially they, not a major criminal. They could have made him sound like a, a kid. 
without sounding annoying. But they didn't. They made him sound really annoying. You think I'd lose to Blade? That voice. I'm saying you need to have patience, Yan Ching. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. Even you don't know? There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide, and there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <sighs> that boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> My fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. The guy likes to talk a lot. 